This is a video for the frontal bone. So as you can see, I have my skull in front of me and we're going to be describing all the bony landmarks and the outer edges for this bone right here, which is known as the frontal bone of the skull. I'm just going to turn it and orient you with a few of our kind of suture lines. So running along the top here, we have our coronal suture, and that is a separation between the frontal bone and the two parietal bones on either side. And then running straight down the middle here is a sagittal suture. So this coronal suture and sagittal suture meet at this bony landmark right here known as bragma. As we turn the skull to the side, the frontal bone drops down into this temporal fossa in this area where it starts to make contact with the sphenoid bone here. And as we turn to the side, as a projection that heads down towards our zygomatic bone here. So that again is a small suture where those two bones meet. And then when we look in the front, you will see a couple bones side by side these are our nasal bones so a left and a right nasal bone and they meet the frontal bone right in the center here i'm going to just bring the skull up a little bit closer there's the remnants of a frontal suture see that and where these bones meet in the middle is called nasion and then as i turn to the side here this is the maxilla running its way up making contact with the frontal bone and then inside the orbit, we have a few more, which I'm not gonna go into right now. So those are basically the outer borders. And now I'm gonna start to label some of the individual bony landmarks. So I like to kind of start again, right in the front. And what we're gonna describe is this whole outer area is known as the orbit kind of where your eye socket. Um, but then this kind of sharp edge is known as the margin. So as I run my finger along this whole portion here, this is known as the superior orbital margin, and that is obviously of the frontal bone. And as you take your finger and gently go along it, you will notice there's a little bit of an indentation. So I'm gonna bring our skull in a little bit. And so what's interesting to note is on one side, we have a notch, but on the opposite side, we have a foramen. So this is known as the supraorbital notch or foramen. So you can have either two of the same, or you might have one of each like this. As I go slightly above that, orbital line, we have something known here as a superciliary ridge. And that's basically just above ciliary meaning hair. So this is a raised portion of the bone that you can quite easily feel just above your own eyebrow. Some texts will call this the superciliary arch, or again, as I said, superciliary ridge. In between that is a flat spot. Won't be able to see the shine of that or not, but basically right in the dead center, there's a good view. This is known as your glabella, which basically just means flat surface. Now this skull does not have a great representation of the next bony landmark, but I will kind of show you approximately where it would be, but you might have two raised areas on either side. So you can feel your own frontal bone independent you might have them, but these are known as frontal eminence, or in some texts we'll call them frontal tubercles right in this area. Okay, just gonna turn the skull back to a lateral view. And just briefly mentioned before, this was known as the temporal fossa, this whole area here. And if you take your time to kind of run your fingers just posterior to where the zygomatic bone and frontal bone meet, this is known as your temporal lines. So your temporalis muscle is sitting inside this temporal fossa, but there's actually a raised ridge line where the muscle and fascia of that muscle are outlining the outer edge of it. So this is your superior and inferior temporal lines. Okay, so that is basically the majority of the bony landmarks from the external. Um, I'm just gonna remove the cap here for a second. 
And when we look on the inside, there's quite a bit going on, but again, I'm just focusing on our frontal bone at this time. So just on the inside, behind the frontal bone, we have what is known as the frontal crest. So you can easily see this nice raised area here. And that is an attachment on the inside of your skull for some connective tissue and fascia. And then let's see if I can get the right lighting. There we go. Kind of see that right in here is a continuation of that frontal crest and then it turns into a groove. Sorry, this is not be easy for me to see, but hopefully you can follow along with your textbook. So right along the center on the inside here, this is a groove and that is for your superior sagittal sinus. So the sagittal sinus is running all the way along the inside of the skull cap and I'm making a connection in that frontal crest. Okay, that is going to conclude all of the bony landmarks that I'm going to discuss of the frontal bone.